again. I knew I shouldn't have bought you a cheap Chinese vendor. Um, hi, it's Class T Reviewer. I'm back for PI month. And oh god, we got a good one this time, boys. We got Simon and Simon, which ran from 1981 to 1989. With two characters who are very interesting. They're two brothers, which you have AJ, who's this kind of suave, ritzy type guy. And then you have his brother, Rick, who's a cowboy. And, you know, they, they kind of have this whole culture you know, clash thing. I and mean, there, there's your mom kind of getting in the middle of both of them. Basically saying, you know, you guys are acting like idiots. But they solve cases. They, of course, did one episode, which during the Lone Ranger, the Legend of the Lone Ranger movie, there was a whole thing about Clay Moore. And, you know, Clay Moore was said, oh, he couldn't go to public, you know, appearances and all that kind of bullshit, which was wrong. Because that's how the man made his living. Well, at this point in the show, they had a guy called the Rough Rider, which was, you know, at an appearance, and they're, he's basically saying, oh, I'm the real Rough Rider, and, you know, all this kind of shit to the kids. They're all excited to see him. And his prospector Pete hires Simon and Simon, which was his kind of like Tonto, to basically, hide, you know, to have a case solved. They did one where they did like a, very, like a, a, much like in Ace Ventura, the, you know, a dolphin, they did an episode like that. And, you know, the show took place in San Diego. And, I don't know why I keep looking at this thing. But, this show was really, was really interesting because it had a lot of interesting characters. You know, like I said, with three, the mom. And the show didn't do very well in its first season. Not until season two. And the first part of season two, they had a Magnum P.I. crossover, which was Magnum was one of the big shows at the time. And basically the plot of that was, was there's this guy, he had this, like, tiki artifact he bought, and whoever it has it dies. He hires Simon and Simon to get it back. And this is in the Magnum episode. And basically, they, you know, go to get it, and they do all the stuff they're supposed to do. And, of course, they have that. they're crossed with Magnum, because they're stealing it from the estate. And if you watch the Magnum episode, because I have the DVD, they changed it for syndication. And I noticed it changed on my DVD, because and the original version of the Magnum P.I. episode... Morgan Fairchild's character, she gets away with the Tiki, and Magnum, you know, he's hurt, and Higgins, and Rick and AJ, which, that's the episode that goes in there. But it's kind of like, if you watch the Magnum P.I., it's a standalone. So I had to kind of bring Magnum up right there with this one. And so basically, the part of the crossover is they go after her, they, they find her, and this is very simple. Higgins likes him so much, he invites him to live in the guest house of Magnum. And basically to piss Magnum off. So that's how that went. But they had a, a lot of interesting episodes. It, it was just, you know, like I said, it was a detective show. They would solve a case. And I would really recommend this. And I'm going to bitch, put them on reruns, you assholes. I would like to see reruns of Magnet P.I., which I get to see on Encore Classics. Uh, it'd be nice to see Simon and Simon, too, and then they could play that cro you know, crossover. No, they did not do that. So it, it, I really would love to see this show come back in syndication. Because when I did this, I had to get the DVDs out and watch the DVDs for this review. Show ends on a basically a nothing type, you know, review. In a nothing type episode, it just ends... But, Mag, but Simon and Simon would come back for a TV movie called Simon, Simon in Trouble Again when they had a sacred mom on a boat. Basically, you know, it's a pretty good uh, TV movie. But I would love to have seen them at least hang out with Madden one last time. 
So, yeah, I mean, what I'm going to say about the show, it has a, a lot to offer, is that you have these two brothers who are completely different. And they start this detective, which Rick is the older, and AJ is younger. But AJ gets all the girls. So, he's kind of that James Bond type. Or Rick, he's just basically the Lone Ranger. He doesn't get the girl. Very much. So, yes, I will give this show a high recommendation. Much better than this piece of shit gun I bought. And, yes, I, I think this show is awesome. You need to check it out. Till then, trust me, I know what I'm reviewing.